Hello everyone, this is Etho, and this is a quick and simple tutorial to teach you three different ways to implement delay in your redstone circuits. Uh, but before I explain those three different ways, we're going to look at some background information about how redstone works and redstone delays. So over here we have a simple little circuit. We have a wooden pressure plate which acts as an input, and it sends a current into these redstone wires. And you'll notice as soon as I step on this pressure plate, all these wires light up at exactly the same time. There's no delay. Now if we compare that with this circuit here, they're both very similar, except this circuit has a repeater added in it, which is uh, the soil blocks with the torches. And so when you step on this pressure plate, you'll notice that this wire here lights up a little bit sooner than these two wires here. And that's because uh, pa the current passing through redstone torches creates a slight delay, about a tenth of a second every torch. So since we have two torches here, that's roughly two tenths of a second delay. And we have a little conversion chart here. Uh, one redstone torch is equivalent to two ticks or two update calls in the game. Uh, roughly every 20 ticks or 20 update calls in the game is equivalent to one real-time second. And one real-time second is equivalent to about the current passing through 10 of these torches. And so now I'm going to explain the three different uh, types of delay in a in a circuit that you can add. This is very familiar to many of you. These re these uh, repeaters are new in the beta patch. They do pretty much the same as one of these. You can adjust them one, two, three, four. When this is closest to this torch here, that's one. And every one of these is equivalent to one torch. So right now it's at one, two, three, or four torches. So if we set all of these to four, since we have five, five times four is twenty, twenty torches. One second is ten torches, so this is equivalent to about two seconds. And so this type of delay, we have our inputs, and then this delays the current passing to our output, which is the door. So as soon as I step on this pressure plate, it'll delay the circuit two seconds. Very simple. Now let's look at two slightly more complicated uh, ways of adding delay. So in our first example, we delayed the in-between time it took our input to reach our output. In this example, I'm going to show you how to delay the amount of time the input needs to be applied for it to send a current to the output. So I'll, I'll demonstrate what I mean. This pressure plate is the input once again but we are using TNT as our outputs. This pressure plate is connected to the TNT, but since we are delaying the amount of time our input must be applied by two seconds, if I just walk over this pressure plate, the TNT will not ignite. In order to ignite the TNT, I must stand on this pressure plate for at least two seconds. So how is this done? Well, we have an AND gate here. And in order for this to send power to this wire here, both these torches must be off. So the first one goes off by sending standing on the pressure plate. 
and the second one goes off this torch here as the power passes through our delay and then arrives here. So if I stand on here, the first one goes off, two seconds later, that one goes off. Then that goes on. If I just walk over this, this first torch will go back on right away. And so that's our second example. Now I'll look at the third example. In our third example, we're going to be using what is called an RS NOR latch. So I'm going to explain to you how one of these things works and what it does. This is the RS NOR latch, and it keeps, it holds a memory of either being on or off, depending how you have it set. So I've ran a wire to this torch down here, and you can see there's no power being sent in this wire here to the door. If I press this button, nothing happens, but if I press this one, it stays on. It switches states and it sends power to the door forever, and it'll keep doing that. If I press this button again, nothing happens. Sending power to this block down here shuts it off again, and it permanently stays in that off state until we send power to this wire above here again. So in our second example, we delayed the amount of time our input needed to be applied. In this third example, we are going to delay the amount of time our output gets applied. So I have an example here. Normally, this button is our input. It's attached to our door, which is our output. Normally, if you do this, the door stays open for roughly a second and then closes. The odd time it glitches out like that and it's even shorter. With the output uh, delayed, the amount of time our output is applied, we have a two second delay here again. And we have our RS NOR latch. So our output gets delayed two seconds so that this door will stay open two seconds before it closes again. And so the way that works, if you don't have our delay hooked up here, pressing this button will switch the state of the RS NOR latch so that it sends power, but it won't reset. And so we reset it with a two second delay And that's how it closes. Very simple. Could be quite useful for things. And that's it for the tutorial. Three different ways to apply delay in a redstone circuit.